so welcome to this uh, third lecture in this lecture i will be discussing uh, about the python input and output in last class i have discussed about the variables and literals and uh, today we'll be using we'll be discussing python input and output the code i am going to use here actually i have already used these codes in the previous session but today we'll just know the concept of the code so where it is used and how to use so okay so input and output means when you write a program so basically you need to take some input from the user side and you need to give some output to the user okay that is what uh, the intention of a program now we cannot write the program the data and everything common inside it so basically it has to interact with the end user so so it's a common tax in programming to take input from the user and display data on your screen so the intention is what intention of any program is to take input from user and give output okay now for this python have uh, numerous built in functions that allow you allow us to take input and uh, give output data but uh, we'll just discuss uh, here two basic things okay so i'll write two basic instructions or i'll say commands used for input and output are input and print small p small p with parentheses respectively respectively means for input input is the command and for output print is the command okay so next is we'll just uh, we'll see the example how actually it is used so let us just write a code print in bracket how to give the output okay so uh, here i am using the how to give the output so here print if i write something uh, how you should write inside parenthesis you need to give quotes means a single quote or you can give double quote so if you just press once one quote so by default it will take the second one also you don't no need to press it two times in the keyboard so here i am just pressing it for one time and it is making it a two okay so inside this i'll just uh, let me just write this is a test code for learning python output okay so this is the simple code that you, you should write for your uh, for output for giving output so if i run this code so it is showing this is a test code for learning python so whatever you write inside this codes it will print all that thing okay <coughs> so i'll share this uh, file with you so that uh, it will be easier for you as a pdf so this is for python print okay next uh, we'll see print variables so here i am printing a message so i'll write print variables basically every time practical uh, if you do the program practically then you will be calculating and you will be ca means doing some coding algorithm apply to some data so data are stored inside a variable now you need to print the variable output so for that uh, we will uh, we'll just see how to print variables let's say how to store a value i'll write a equals to let's say 5 okay so now this is a is a variable and 5 is the data now how to print this so if i run this so nothing is happening that means a uh, the value 5 is stored inside a uh, how to print this so simply i have to write print parenthesis here i'll write only a there will be no quotes no double quote no single cut if i will be writing just like that then it will print the value of a okay it will not print a 
so here if I change this code if I change one more line I write in codes I write a then see what happens so it will print a but we need to print the variable that's why it should be written as it is without codes okay so let me write here to print the to print the value of a variable write without any quotes inside parenthesis okay so this is the syntax now this is a numeric number let's say I have a string input I write this hello python okay so now if I write print so here what you understand first before running this code first understand this one I'll write in a new box new line I'll write okay so here try to understand what is this so b is a variable and in b variable what is stored a string is stored which is written as hello python now if I print B then what it should print it should print hello Python right now the variable B is printed but what is printed actually it is printing the value that is stored in the variable so if we write like this now uh, let us say we, I want to display both these variables in a single output so display multiple variables in a single display or in a single output so how to do that so uh, what I need I need to print a and b so I will write print in bracket I will just write a comma b so what it will do it will print first 5 and then python okay let's say you need you need to print these two values but with a message okay so i'll write a comma then i'll write in quotes i'll write a along with i'll write a along string print number along with string so i'll just just writing a user defined message that's it to make the program look good then after one comma then b so what it should print it should print five then print number along with string then it should print hello python right so five print number along with string then hello python okay so let me just make it more look good okay so this is how it can be done next is some more uh, let us uh, let us play some more so I'll, uh, let's say i am writing one uh, age equals to 25 let's say someone's age is 25 and someone's name is let's say i'll write my name my name is sambu okay so if I write like this and I want it to be printed in a fashion so if I want to write that so how I want to print let me just like that how it should be printed so how it should be printed I want that it will print age colon 25 okay and name colon some so this would print like this so how i can do this i'll write print in bracket i'll write in quotes first age colon whatever text i want to print then comma age that is the variable okay and after that one more print here I will write name in string 
name colon so give a space after so it should look uh, grouped uh, when printing and uh, variable is name so if i run this let us see what is printing what is the error okay okay so here uh, when it is a string you have to write this in quote so that's the error i made otherwise it cannot assign the variable okay so let's say i'll write something print means uh, in some more fashionable manner so if i write this print let's say age of okay age of space comma so i'll i want to write uh, in first quotes age of name age of name comma in quotes each then comma age so what it should print it should print age of the name then what is the age age of some who is 25 so like this it can print okay so it uh, depends upon you that how you can customize your prints So next, uh, let us see how we can make different lines. Okay. How to make new lines? So new line character basically we can write. Uh, we can add. We can add new lines by slash n okay this forward slash n so this will include a new line when you are printing means so let us just see what happens here so i'll write print so same just i am using edge and we'll just copy this one then at the end what I will do I will include new line and for new line also it will be a inside the quotes so I will write this slash n ok now again after that I uh, will print end of display so that is the thing I want to run so let us see so see here one line is included here okay now let me just copy this and uh, do something more so i'll write here one more slash n so see what happens so see the gap here so here it is only one gap and here there are two gaps so when you write slash n so this is not what doing this is doing including one line in between them okay now let us see take input from users so how to do that so here i am writing uh, previously i have written this uh, name variable equals to sambu so i have just given a string directly now this is in code i can write but practically i need that it should print the value that I will give means uh, I will write a code and I will give to some person so he will enter his name and the system will display so like this if you want to make so you have to write that it should ask you what is your name so I will write equals to input simple input and parenthesis so actually this should take uh, take the input value so if I run this you see so it is waiting for some something so I will write s so something is happening but what is happening to know that so I will write here in quotes enter your name. 
so it is asking enter your name so i'll write this is my name and press enter hit enter okay so with this this uh, whatever input i have given this word is being stored into this name variable okay now i need to display that variable so for displaying what i need to do i need to write print so i'll display with a message hello so the message will be written in this one hello comma name so this will print hello and the variable okay so this is learn here and we'll just write some more name so let's say write jack sparrow okay again jack sparrow press enter here i if i run this so it will print hello jack sparrow okay so this is how you can give input and you can print the print that in the output so here what we are doing we have stored the value of uh, jack sparrow in the variable name okay so here it is happening and then it is printing it is taking the variable and it is printing that so here the enter your name is what enter your name is the message that we have written while taking the input so whatever you can take so if i change this let's say if i change please type your name so if i run this so it will ask please type your name some spelling mistake Sometimes get sent. Yeah. So please type your name. I will write uh, Sambu. Okay. So it will take then hello name means it will print your I think there is uh, some issue with running the code in the local system. So let me just see. So if uh, this kind of thing happens, so that what you can do, I can close this and you can run this again. So I'll save this. So don't worry this has nothing to do it is working in browser but it has nothing to do with your internet speed uh, if you even means cut your internet it should work there is no relation with the internet okay so here i will write this one okay okay i was actually making a mistake once you run this so it will ask you type the name then you have to press enter but instead of pressing enter i was again clicking the run so it was waiting how when it should complete so okay hit uh, enter then again if i run this so it will print the name so that's it that's how you can take the input